Good morning, and this is Maine Roses, and I'm in the kitchen this morning, and I'm getting ready to go out and do my hauls, but I wanted to get some homemade bread together. I'm making a honey wheat bread, and I wanted to bring you guys along for this. I got almost everything ready, but I wanted to bring you along for this because I'm getting ready to go, so I wanted to share the recipe with you. So come along with me, and let's get started. Okay. I got a stroll up because I got my recipe on the screen. Okay, we're going to dissolve the yeast in warm water. You need two cups of warm water and you want it to the touch. So you can put your hand in there. So we're going to add active dry yeast, one packet. Let me get my scissors. This, like I said, this is going to make two loaves of bread. So we're just going to put that in there. We're going to let that sit and we're going to get the other things together. Okay. Um, we're going to add the honey to, the, to this as it's getting happy. And the honey is um, a third of a cup and I've already got that ready. I sprayed my glass measuring cup. So I can just have it come out easy. So let's get all that honey. This is an organic honey from up in Maine. So there, that came right out awesome. I'm going to stir that right in there to combine it with the um, yeast and the water. Okay, we're going to put that in the sink. Okay, the next step. We're going to mix the whole wheat flour, which is two cups. I'm going to get me a knife to measure it off evenly. I love this for making bread. salt in the vegetable oil and the salt is one teaspoon of salt and the vegetable oil is a third cup of vegetable oil and then I'm going to add my yeast water and my honey to the pot because it's had time to sit Okay, it says to work in the um, all-purpose flour gradually, and we're going to be adding five cups of this all-purpose flour, but I'm going to start getting that kneaded, so I'm going to put that down, and I'm going to start to mix this. I'm 
want to get a bag because I like to put these in bags so if there's any spills, they go right into the bag. I'm going to get me my spatula and I'm going to take down my sides. add a cup at a time until I come up to my thigh. doing this until this forms a ball. Be really quick. When this starts to come together and form a ball, we're going to need for about five to ten minutes. I'm adding the third cup of flour. I'm going to slow it down. again because there's some on the on the sides of this bowl here. I got flour going everywhere except for the bowl. like an awful lot of flour, seven cups of flour. This is already coming together. I think I'm going to stop there. So right now, I've got four cups of white and two cups of wheat. If I need another cup, I'll add it. I'm going to let this knead for about five to ten minutes, and I'm going to bring you back. Okay, I wanted to bring you back. I used only four and a half cups of the white flour, the all-purpose flour. I used my two cups of wheat and four and a half cups. It was a little sticky when before the four cups, so when I added the other half a cup, it worked. So I kneaded it for about five minutes. I'm going to grease my bowl, which I'm just going to spray this canola oil in the bowl. 
and I'm going to take my dough out. I'm going to make it into a round ball. This is going to make, like I said, two loaves of bread. So I'm going to set that right in the middle and I'm going to cover that. do what I have to do and let this double in size. I will bring you back when I'm getting ready to bake. This is made roses and I want to bring you back. I've been out all day at work and my bread has rose. So now I want to go to the next step. I'm going to grease my pans. I have two pans. So I'm just going to spray them with some canola oil. Okay, and I'm going to punch this down, and that releases all the air. Then you're going to do a second rise. So let me get a knife and I'll cut it in half. for a certain knife, but it must be my soap making stuff. So I'm just going to get a knife and I'm just going to go right across. You're not going to go out tomorrow. And then I'm going to reform a bread dough. You just gotta keep rolling. And then you're gonna take it. And you're gonna put it in your your bread pan. And you're gonna set them off and let them re-rise. No, not yet. They have to be rise. I'm going to cover them and then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to bake. Well, they're risen, but they didn't rise a whole lot. And I'm getting ready to bake them because it's getting late. Um, I'm going to bake them at 350 and then I'm going to pull them out and I'm let, going to let them cool. I'll show you what they look like in the morning. <laughs> 